The sea. A seemingly endless void of very little substance and no points of interest whatsoever. Not unlike the movie you are about to witness. Humankind's journeys across the sea have resulted in nothing but wasted time and precious human resources. Also not unlike the movie you are about to witness. One such journey took place in 1500 BC when Egyptians discovered the Indian Ocean. This sucks. I want to go home. I could use a hand here, guys. Somebody just shoot me now! Guys, Larry's dead, which is seriously affecting his ability to row. What is the purpose of this voyage again? Now, let me ask you a question. If an iceberg falls and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? You may ask why we are showing this. That's right. It's the voyage of the Vikings as they conquered the Arctic Ocean in 800 AD. Of course, in 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. A lot of people died. Leave home! Oh man, look out! We're gonna hit that rock! Ah! Of course, that was Magellan as he rounded Cape Horn to discover the Pacific Ocean in 1520. Many fierce battles were also fought at sea. You sank my battleship! They'll never get us! Ah! In 1805, Lord Nelson defeated Napoleon's fleet. Oh crap. And of course, since this is a Japanese movie, we need to include a Japanese voyage in here. In 1860, the Conrad Maru became the first Japanese ship to cross the Pacific. And another Japanese ship, the Nihon Maru. What, may I ask, do all of these explorers have in common? They were all idiots! Just a bunch of drunken fools with nothing better to do than waste their time and effort on these voyages which yielded no positive outcome for humankind. Now, I hope you've all enjoyed your history lesson class. And now, the year is 2099. Odin, Photon Space Sailor, Starlight. You might think that by now explorers would have learned their lesson, but you would be wrong. Explorers are still as stupid as they've always been. Hell, even their ships look pretty much the same. Humankind never changes. Somebody retrieve that kite out there! Over! Mayday, mayday, our ship is caught in a space tuna net. Please save us. Send help now. <coughs> We've got another ship caught in a tuna net. <coughs> Satellite television never changes either. People still get thousands of channels, like Comedy Central and MTV. 
and they all still suck. The sailing ships of this time are propelled by lasers in place of the wind which propelled the ships of the seas and travel by way of a vast laser network stretching throughout space. And, as you can see, space pollution and traffic jams are already a problem. Now, a revolutionary new ship is about to embark on a great journey. The Starlight is able to control gravity and use it to travel at previously unthinkable speeds. And how was the elite crew of this new vessel chosen? Their names were drawn randomly from a hat. This crew of imbeciles is quite appropriate for the task of continuing humankind's legacy of idiotic exploration. We now take you to the space colony city of Einstein, where the new crew is about to board the Starlight for the very first time. Hey, get away from those. Those aren't toys.
shit, check out this ship here. It's so tight ass. Even got a damn captain's chair. Dig this. I'm the man. Bah! The name's Kuramoto. I'm the ship's bosun. I'm here to train you. And if any of you desecrate that chair again, oh, I'll break your goddamn neck. Think about that. Yeah, shut up. This is your captain. Well, hurry up and salute already. That's right. Put your right hand on your forehead. Let's move this crate. Hello, operator? Captain, do you want Pizza Hut or Domino's? Hey, it's really high up here. Shut all doors. Return all chairs to their upright position. Fasten safety belts. Extinguish all smoking materials. Hey, I mean you. Sorry, sir. Just a sec. A good engine crew must have the wits of a squirrel and the cunning of a goat. Um, I'll pull this. Uh, oh, no, that was the disco lever. I'll just push some of these. Uh, uh, uh. Uh-oh, uh we've got a fire. Uh, uh, sir. Motion, where did we get this crew from? Beach me. Damn, this sucks. Sorry, sir. We really don't know what we're doing. Um, I'll just pull this. <laughs> Damn! Nothing happened! Um, what's happening? What? What the hell is going on? We're not supposed to be moving! Hit the brakes! We're heading for the farewell ceremony! We're not supposed to be there for another half hour! What the hell? Why is that dumb ship here already? I don't have my script yet. I mean, um, uh... The, uh, starlight is really big and, um, good. It's the biggest and, um, uh, goodest ship ever. There, I handled that pretty well. My slicker what? Man, I love this new disco. These lights are giving me a seizure. Gino, keep your seats dry. I will, Grandma. Well, we finally got out of there, and now the trip begins. Can we sing a song right now? No! Uh, are you sure about that? Yes! Space Force Headquarters, Lunar Orbit. Space Pilots Ready Room. For the last time, it wasn't my fault that- God damn it! If my name had been drawn from that stupid hat, the script wasn't ready. The script been ready, I'd be on the Starlight today too! Oh. Well, that's it! I'll show them! We're getting on the laser highway. Once the moon gets out of our way, we'll test the brand spanking new gravity control system. After a series of these tests, we'll be able to conduct the real one by traveling to Jupiter. Everybody quit rolling on and get ready to use the laser network. And quit making fun of the way my voice sounds on this intercom. Get the sails ready! What did he say? I don't know. Who cares? Run up the yards! Man, I'm sick of this guy already. I mean, 
I don't know anything about sales. I registered to be the ship's cook. Really? I hear the doctor signed up to be cook too. But some guy that wanted a boring sail checking job was assigned to that position. This ship really sucks. It's run by a bunch of know-nothing old farts. I'm gonna bring it down from the inside any way I can. Captain, the crew seems somewhat unruly. Nonsense. I can feel unparalleled amounts of pride from these youngins. I hate you all. Turn around! We forgot the Folgers' coffee! Did you hear that? Return to Earth! We don't have time, sir. Dang nabbit! What else could go wrong? The sails are ready to go! What? I was trying to break them! Yep, all sails ready! Um, let's call the laser place now. Hey Minami, you wanna take care of that? What? Why me? Just do it yourself. You just do it right now, you little bastard. <clears throat> okay, but I'm not gonna do it well. Um, laser station? Come in, laser station. We need, like, some lasers out here or something. This is laser station NTSC 90210 on operational code 101020 receiving. Confirm your position. Let's see, we're in the middle of nowhere. Um, I can see stars outside. Now, can we have our freaking clearance? Okay, here they come. Enjoy your lasers. Where are they? I don't see the lasers yet. When are they going to get here? <laughs> Laser route sail. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Does anyone mind if I take off my pants? No, please don't! Ah, I feel much better now without my pants on. Does anyone else want to remove their pants? Put your goddamn pants back on, you dork! Oh, you're no fun. We're headed for the moon. Everyone shut up now, here comes the captain. Okay, that could have gone better, you morons. Abe Takeshi Suzuka, I command this hair ship, and you can call me Skipper, Gilligan, or Marianne. I realize you are no ordinary recruits, that you are all a bit slow in the head, so I'd like you all to keep quiet. I do not want to hear any of your opinions. I can't believe that you idiots are going to be the ones actually piloting this vessel. So if anything goes wrong, I want you to know that it's all your fault and not mine. So cool to hell, all of you. <clears throat> because I run this here ship right. Right. Uh, oh. I, <laughs> I can't believe my uniform's so dirty that there's a rat living in it. <sighs> Gilligan, Gilligan, I'm getting an SOS. Put it on this hair screen. Aye, aye, sir. Mayday, Mayday, this is Jupiter Transport Alfred. We're in a magnetic storm. Skeanos Asteroid Zone. All the computers are out because I tripped on the cord. We're being pulled by some tremendous force. Abandoning ship! Send rescue vessels for 60 African elephants and a crew of 10! Oh! Oh my god! I've never seen anything like it! What in the hell are the guys on this ship been drinking? Stronger than anything we've got. Well, whatever it is, I want some right now. Space Force Long Range Fighters. Oh man, I'll show them. I don't want to fly a ship. Now, how do you work this thing? Take off, damn it!
I don't like tests. Let's just use that gravity control system right now. If we don't blow up, we'll reach the Alfred a hell of a lot faster than anyone else who's heard that call. What do you say, sir? Oh man, damn! Oh hell, let's just use that gravity control system. But if we die, I'll be able to say I told you so. Yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. They're all stupid, but they've got spirit, I'll give them that. Minami, get us the hell out of these lasers. Change course or I'll kick your ass. Man, I really hate you. What was that? Shut up! Ugh. Shut your mouth, Minami, or I'll come over there and shut it for you. I'm starting the countdown. 70 minutes of gravity isolation. The accelerators are going. This one. No, this one. Which button do I push, sir? The engine's all ready. Stop! Don't start it. I'm the guy trapped inside the engine. I was built into here when they manufactured it. For the love of God, please don't start the engine! Alright, we're about to start the engine. No, please! I'm in here! All I've got to do to start the engine is pull this lever. No! <laughs> I think the sails look pretty when they glow. It reminds me of back home when I celebrated Christmas with Grandma. Come on, how many levers do we need to pull to start this thing? High energy sailing. Those scrubbing bubbles sure are doing a good job on the ship. They work hard so that we don't have to, sir. Man, those guys will be sorry when I get there. There's some crazy bastard out there approaching us fast. What should we do, sir? I'm gonna crash this party! Wait till they see the show I put on for them. Yo, damn, check this shit out. That is some tight ass flying, man. What's he trying to prove? Forget him, let the bastard kill himself. Hey, yo, nickel bastard, I bet you can't do this. What an idiot. Let's put him on Mega Vision. Hey, look at me, I'm on TV. Damn, Akira! The idiot! You know this guy? He's the guy who lost the drawing and swore he'd ruin the voyage for everyone. It wasn't fair! They drew my name first, but I was disqualified because my handwriting was illegible! Quiet down. There's no way you can prove your name was on that entry form. But it was my name! Just give it up. You lost the drawing. Shut up! I'm going to come in there and kick your ass! <laughs> Look out, you moron! Oops, one more time! He could be good for a laugh, let's bring him aboard! 30 minutes before gravity isolation test. Cool, they let me in! Next I bet they'll make me chief pilot! Hey, uh, you sure this is okay? The boatswain said to bring him aboard. Drunk old fool. Activate the high-tech pulley system. Hey, this is a nice place you guys got here. Man, you dork. Get out of here! I don't plan on leaving. 
Akira, your name wasn't drawn. You're not an official member of this crew. Please leave. Woohoo! Looks like something crawled up somebody's ass. 25 minutes to test. You guys need to get going. Don't worry about me. Now shoo! Shoo! 20 minutes to test. Hey boys, I brought my new strobe light along. Let's have a disco party. No man, that's too bright ass! Who said that? I can't see the road. Turn it off. Turn it off. Abandoned ship. We can't run a strobe light in the scraper at the same time. We don't have enough power. The gravity isolation test is about to begin. Hey, adjust those sails. Okay. Um, adjust the... Wait, we don't have one of those. All sails stand by! Let's do this. Hey, get my chair out of the floor. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Zero, contact. Happy, Happy New Year! La 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 la. Gravity Isolation Sailing Through orange-colored space, the starlight goes sailing. The sturdy masts keep the sails from flailing. An amazing spectacle in the night sky. You may see it if you look up high. Hither and thither the trusted ship may go, swaying to and swaying fro. The GCS is what powers its flight. You can do it, Starlight Crew. Give it all your might. Manipulating gravity with ease, it cuts through space like hot knife through cheese. The gravity is tripling and doubling. It's really quite troubling. Quit talking like Dr. Seuss. Now let's do this thing. Man, that rap sucked. Man, yo! <coughs> Minami, I know what you're thinking, and you cannot throw up in my hat. I'm getting seasick! Man, that's it for me, shit! <laughs> that was funny. Joe's a wuss. You guys shut up. I'm trying to beat my high score here. Akira! You know, I drugged Joe at lunchtime. You bastard. That's how I knew that he'd pass out like that. Now listen up, guys. I'm the new chief pilot on this ship. You will obey me or be hurt very badly. Shut up. I don't have to listen to you. I found another lever to pull. It's way up here. Everyone pull as many levers as they can. I'll activate the ventral sail. Ventral sail. Ventral sail. Ventral sail. Whoa! That's the spirit. Now I hope that thing works. The ship is now moving very fast. Will the gravity control system hold out? Does anybody really care what happens at this point? I hope that the entire crew just dies. Ah, there. The starlight's being fried to a crisp. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the show, everyone. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. I hope you all understood the moral of the story, because I sure didn't. Have a good day. What's going on? It's not ending yet. Could this be the end? It's not over until we've tried all the levers. You're right. Damn it, Akira, you're crazy, you're crazy. You have bad breath. I can teach you how to brush your teeth, Mamoru. I've never brushed a day in my life, and I still got two teeth left. Okay, we've settled that. Now let's finish this thing. Gutsy little bastard, isn't he? 
Yeah, he's the best crew member we've got. Captain, he's not a crew member. Well, hell, let's make him one. It's not like the rest of this crew was carefully selected. You know, you're very wise, sir. Now you see why I wanted to bring that kid aboard. Yeah, I'm going to make him the bosun of this ship. But sir, I'm already the bosun. Not anymore. What? I'll break that kid's neck. You morons, that sucked. You can all thank Akira and the inventor of scotch tape for keeping the ship in one piece. To reward his merits, we're making Akira's favorite dish for dinner, SpaghettiOs and hot dogs. Also, I'm making him an official member of this crew and promoting him above all of you. Yay! Yay! Which means he'll end up dead like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> In other news, I've just received word that the Earth has been destroyed. <gasps> just kidding. They're on to me. They know I'm no good. I'm very mad, Akira. They're giving my position to you. They're making me chief janitor. I'm going to kill you, Akira. <gasps> Mamoru! When? Good news, Grandma! I've arranged with Hallmark to have a hand-picked Hallmark card sent to you every day I'm gone. Won't that be... What? What the hell? We found the crap left over from the Alfred. I don't think anyone's alive. Arr, then we'll just loot and pillage whatever's left, mateys. Arr. Oh wait, I guess there is a life pod out here. We'd better get it. Deploy the skill crane! Come on, come on, got it! Now I just hope it doesn't fall like it always does. Hmm, it appears to be one of those deluxe inflatables. All right, you guys, just step aside and let Akira handle this. Huh? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's warm. Well, I hope this orange juice will help something. Sure will. And Mr. Troublemaker, would you take off her clothes? What? Her clothes? Do it! It's the best part of my job! Uh, okay. Let's see now, how do you open this? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Come on, take him off! I everything? Of course! You wouldn't happen to be gay, would you? Uh, 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 <laughs> hey, you guys, I thought I told you to stay down from there! It's the gravity! Guys, my Atari Jaguar says that something's wrong. It's those pesky Terminator probes. Uh, Terminator probes? Action stations. Sir, what are you talking about? There's no such thing as a Terminator probe. Yes, there is. They're everywhere. It generates these magnetic storms that kill people. What the hell are you talking about, sir? I don't know. He doesn't usually act like this. The Terminator probes are these things in space that kick your ass if you get too close to them. Sir, this is crazy. I think you should take your pills and get some rest now. No! Turn everything off or you'll all die! Hmm. Sir, I don't see anything out there. Huh? Well, I don't see anything. Huh? Huh? What the hell? Use the flatulence brakes. Flatulence brakes? Whose idea was that? This ship has everything.
Get some people out there right now or we'll die, I'll tell ya. Man, I wish you weren't the captain. Well, I didn't tell those guys before they left, but they're doomed. It seems to be made of, um, metal. Pretty common substance, Captain. Same as ours, in fact. Maybe, but this just further proves that you're wrong, sir. All right, you're clear to land. You're wrong. It appears we've made contact with intelligent life. Who cares? The second recorded encounter. The first being the time I was abducted. <sighs> <coughs> Go over there. Yes. Hey guys, it's like we're superheroes in these suits. Yeah, we're invincible. What? Oh, oh. Shut up, dork. Oh, help me. Oh, help me. It's sucking me inside. Oh. Oh no, oh god, please. What's going help on? Me. Idiot, oh, turn the radio oh, off. Oh, pain, it hurts. Oh, 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 it hurt. oh god, please. Oh, 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 I'm just a little wet. Don't mind me. I've got nothing to do with this scene. Oh, 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 please We're trying help me. To help, you. help me. Oh, oh god. Oh, I think we've triggered oh, the attack me, mechanism. Please. Captain? We have no choice. We'll have to leave them. Dude, catch the wave of ocean spray, all natural fruit juice. And cocktails. They're fantastic. Oh. Wow. Ah. One more. And they are spewed from the giant butt crack of space. <sighs> ah. Captain! Captain! I'm fine, but I'm sure all the others are dead. We'll, we'll check. check. Huh? Where'd the girl go? I'm right here. You? How did you get your clothes back on? I woke up naked and found my clothes in the corner. I put them back on and placed your friend where you see him. Where am I? And how did my clothes come off in the first place? They must have fallen off in the crash. Oh, that makes sense. My name is Sarah, Sarah Chan Baker. I'm a high school dropout. I can't remember anything else. Wow, you went to high school? Everyone, this is your captain speaking. I'm afraid that everything on this ship is broken, including the karaoke machine. Damn it! We're all gonna die. All hell is breaking loose. Ah, Jiro, wake up! We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Wake the hell up! Uh, g grandma? <sighs> huh? What's that? I'd swear it was Uranus, but that shouldn't be in plain sight. Bad news. This ship doesn't have wheelchair ramps. At least the Atari still works.
We'll need two or three weeks to make repairs and rebend the sails. We can't take any more chances since we've lost seven men already. Plenty more where they came from. But sir, how can you have such a disregard for human lives? I assumed they knew the risk when they put their names in the hat. Captain, I've confirmed our position and there's no mistake. We've gone past Jupiter and we're now entering orbit around Uranus. Around my what? My god, we must have traveled faster than light. That's pretty fast, Kuramoto. That planet looks familiar. That there's Oberon, one of the moons of Uranus. One of the moons of my what? You're a liar. You couldn't possibly have seen that planet before. There's something buried in the ice there. I can feel it calling to me. Woohoo! Vector graphics rule! Hey, I found something! Now let's destroy this planet! Woohoo! <laughs> My god, he found something. A goddamn flying saucer. Akira, go in and have yourself a look. Okay! <sighs> this may be a bad time to mention this, but I really need to use the bathroom right now. There's a built-in diaper in your suit, Akira. You can go ahead and use that. No way! That's gross! There's a bathroom just ahead on your left. How do you know? The voice in my head told me it was so. You're right. I can see a light up ahead. Akira, you are now in the presence of the master toilet. It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful toilet I've ever seen. These chips we've recovered are remarkable. This is the first toilet I've ever seen with an Intel Pentium processor inside. We'd be able to read a lot more information if Akira hadn't poked all over it. I'll try running it through the Convert compiler. Something's coming through. This is sure to work. The Convert compiler can read anything, no matter how soiled it is. I'm sorry I damaged it. But I really had to go. <laughs> Sarah, what's wrong? Hold on. I've heard that melody somewhere before. That's it. I served with a Norwegian fellow years ago. It sounds like an old Norwegian folk song he used to sing. Would you have any more crystals? Akira, um, found another one. Okay, we'll just slide it into the old convert compiler here. It looks like writing. Our ship! Touched down! Fourth moon! Eighth planet! Huh? I didn't know you could read! Idiot! That's an alien language! Escaping to... Third planet! Listen, I think it's a ship's log! To try to join the rest of the crew that set out on the... Oh! 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 Sarah! This is hurting my head! Turn it off! Please! I can't! Please stop it! It hurts like a bastard! This is scary! Turn it off! No! Sarah, you must go on! Go on reading! Continued to third planet in orbit. We encountered strange beings. Their world is extraordinarily ugly because they are 
quite systematically destroying it. They are retarded creatures. Uh, no, no more. No more. It hurts too much. I can't go on with it. They're talking about planet Earth. Don't you understand? Go on, Sarah. She can't go on. Turn it off. She has to go on. This is human contact with alien beings. She must go on. Odin! Um, uh, okay. That was weird. Hmm, I don't know what the hell she's suffering from, but I hope to God it's not contagious. At least now that she's unconscious again, we may be able to take her clothes off one more time. Unconscious people really turn me on. Sarah may be crazier than cereal for supper, but with her help we've managed to translate some of the information in the crystal. Look! What the hell is that? Oh, that. That's just the wallpaper on my giant computer screen. I imported the image from the crystal and modified it with Paint Shop. Now you'll see the animated screensaver I made to illustrate my theory. The image on the left was taken from the crystal, while the image on the right is the present galaxy as seen from Earth. Because galaxies rotate, we can overlay the two images and we can use that information to estimate how long ago the crystal was made. 10,000 years? 15,000 years? There you go, that's it! 19, no, 20,000 years ago. But where in the hell did this image come from? Look right behind you. What are we looking at? The blinking lights on the wall. Oh, pretty. Yes. Oh, very nice. Very pretty, Captain. Nature always screws up, doesn't it? That would mean that a spatial fault exists where we can enter into abnormal space. And if we can locate this fault and reach it, we can return instantaneously to Earth or slip through it and travel to far-off galaxies. That may even answer the bosun's question. Where the image came from? Yeah. 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 Wait a minute. Did they give a name for this star? No, they didn't, but it's likely to be in this constellation. The Argo constellation. The sailor. And its son, Canopus. Can of what? It's ten times bigger than ours. It became a supernova 20,000 years ago. Captain, there's an old Norse legend that mankind is descended from the great god Odin. Odin? Odin? Legend? Sarah said that when she passed out. Yep, a legend. The myth is really old and stuff. According to the legend, some world was destroyed by an empire of fire. And that big old explosion that happened on Canopus... Can of what? ...must have given rise to the story of Odin. We have proof that these aliens made contact with a life form on planet Earth 20,000 years ago. And naturally, they would be arrogant enough to tell their story to everyone. Thus, the legend of Odin and the planet of Odin where the saucer is from could be in the canopus can of what planetary system then the myth of odin is true then maybe some other myths are true as well now shuttle oh. down everyone hey, yeah. <laughs> hear that i was able to convert the power of the master toilet using the convert compiler it triples our output Convert compiler? Lunch has been prepared, Bolson. Good. Captain, let's go. It's time for lunch. Have they prepared my favorite? Yes, sir. Corn dogs and tang it is. You're about Odin. Yeah, I like yeah, Odin. 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 All right, Odin. man. This is great. I mean, I'm ready to go to Odin. Odin. Man, that was a great Odin. lunch. I think Odin, we should yeah. go. All right, Odin. 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 This is exciting. Odin. 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 Od
We have exhausted our supply of scotch tape, but the ship works again. The gravity control system is not falling apart and is proven operable. Therefore, we responded to the Alfred SOS quickly. My superiors at headquarters have ordered me to make sail for home. I know you are all very pissed off, but we must obey. Get your asses ready to go, everyone. <laughs> but, Captain, why? Why, when we've almost found Odin? We got to continue this voyage. The captain has right. spoken. Right, Chief. We heard him, but we don't understand. Sir, for the first time in history, we can reach a new race of beings. I've kept myself quiet long enough through this voyage, but now I've got to say it. Mamaru, you suck. Shut up. I agree with you about Mamaru, but we still need to go to Odin. I can't let you guys go any further. You're going to wreck the ship, and we've got no type left. I thought we were allowed to wreck it. Yeah, let's wreck it, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Captain, that's it. I've heard enough, and now I got to waste your ass. Silence, or I'll break your neck. Let me fix my hair. Shut up! You guys can mutiny or whatever you want. Just don't kill any one of us. We're going home now. Man, how much does this suck? God. Man. You should have let me do the talking. I don't know why he pointed out the possibility of mutiny. More tang, Captain? This has been such a waste of time. Why did I even come on this voyage? Aw, uh, I wanted to make friends with the aliens. Yeah, but the older generation like my grandma doesn't make history. They're much too afraid of breaking the rules. Then it's up to us to make the choice of a new generation. Drink Pepsi. Yeah, yeah Pepsi. Is, refreshing yeah, Pepsi. Pepsi. Let's act without authority. Then you think we should mutiny against the captain and take over the ship? Yes. Mutiny. Mutiny? mutiny. No mutiny. way. Mutiny? Mutiny? mutiny. 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 The captain wants us to mutiny. He just said we weren't allowed to murder him. We won't go that far. We'll just mutiny. We'll take his responsibility as captain away from him. Are you sure you don't want us to murder him too while we're at it? That won't be necessary, Mamaru. Hey, who said you could interrupt our conversation? We were on a roll here. If this were a movie, and some stupid company had to dub it into another language while also cutting it 50 minutes short... Then this is one of the parts that would be cut. But I deserve my say too, and I say we mutiny now. What the hell? Uh, what? She's right. She should be in this scene. Mamaru! Mutiny! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Mutiny! Yeah, well, yeah. Let's yeah. take over the yeah. ship, man. All right, Whoa. we can Whoa. do this. Yeah. 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 yeah, mutiny. All right, man. All right, man. Let's go. Whoa. All right, yeah, mutiny. Yeah, let's get Whoa. to this thing Whoa. now. Whoa. All right, Whoa. yeah, well, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Shit, there he is, man. I'll snatch him and you gag him. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. Hey, wha whoa! Yay! Yeah, we got him. Mamaru, Akira. Don't you know doctors need to wear these? Oh, uh, ow, uh, ow! What the hell? God damn, you little punks let us out right now. I'll just bust this thing. You are the most immature crew I've ever worked with. When I get out of there, I'm going to break all your necks. Good pain. Kick ass! Now it's our ship. Now let's go break it. Yeah! Beauty kicks ass. You guys, my chair isn't working. It won't move up and down anymore. I think our oxygen tanks are leaking here. Man, it's just too bright. All sails stand by. Engines all stand by. Everyone fasten their safety belts. I don't really know what I'm doing here. Contact.
You guys, I'm really serious about this. I still can't get my chair to move up and down, but I've managed to find the owner's manual. Okay, let's see here. Congratulations on your purchase of an elevator chair 5000. If they're following my orders to mutiny, then it's not really a mutiny. But if it's not really a mutiny, they're not following my orders. You guys, I'm doing really great at this game here. That's great, Nekoda. But right now, we've got a ship to fly here. Hey, Nekoda, you better not be beating my high score. Aw, oh, man, not this argument again. Um, you guys, the ship is turning orange. Let's see here. Setting up your chair. Customizing your chair. Oh hell, here we go. Troubleshooting. Will you shut up about your stupid chair? Don't you realize something really weird is going on with the ship right now? Um, guys, my chair is turning orange. Shut up! Odin! 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 God damn, now what? Oh. A cleft in space! Nature really did screw up! Let's see here. If your chair becomes immobile, 1. Check to make sure the power cord is connected. 2. Make sure you are using the up and down buttons. Oh man, just kick it. Hey, what the hell did you do to my chair? Wait a second, you fixed it. Thanks! Now I can ride up and down again. Woo! Woo! Ah! What the hell are those idiots doing? Deploy ventral sail, quick! What? Quick, pull that lever! Which one? No time, I'll just pull this one! No, not that one! Ventral sail, ventral sail, ventral sail! Whoa! Yo! Straighten the rudder! Shit! Alright you guys, just keep going, we're almost there! Up yours, man. In today's outer space forecast, partly cloudy with a chance of orange. Are you guys dead yet? We wish we were. We're watching this horrible movie called Odin. Wow. I just beat my high score on Tempest 2000. Mamoru, you've got to check this out. Nekoda, shouldn't you be navigating the ship? Damn! Your asses ain't gonna believe this shit. There's like three planets lined up in some row out there. Exactly how far did we travel, Nekoda? My Atari Jaguar says we've traveled 32 light years from our solar system. The Odin myth must have been right. Did you hear about the score Nekoda got on Tempest 2000? I'm glad we installed this spy cam in the elevator. Quit looking at that, you crazy pervert!
You know, Odin probably blew up, remember? I wonder where you learned such a lot about Odin. I don't know, it's a mystery. I just know it as though it's calling me. In some ways, it feels as though I'm insane. When I was in the Alfred escape pod, a voice seemed to call. Odin awaits you! Odin! It wasn't a dream. I heard it so clearly. Someone called. Do you think maybe I'm not quite normal? I'm positive you're not. I have someone. Someone very real I meet in my dreams as well. Who? My father. Your father? Where is he? Is he still alive? Yes, he is still alive. If you ever looked up toward the west on Earth, you might have seen that constellation. The one shaped like a boat. Can you make it out? Yes, I see it now that someone connected the dots. It's the Argo constellation. Sailors call it the Sail. And those greedy sailors have adopted it as their own. It has a blue-white star in the middle. Oh. That's Canopus, our destination. Can of what? When I was four or five, my father said that one day he would take me there. He was always teasing me with empty promises like that. One day my father left the house with a gun saying he was going to Odin and we never found out what happened to him. I don't think he's still alive. He is still alive. I've dedicated my life to space travel so that one day I can go to Odin and find him. He's still alive out there. What the hell? I am Asgard. I am in charge of everything you see around you. Throughout all nine universes, there is none with a scarier accent than mine. All of you puny aliens are about to die. I could use your ship as a toy boat. I crap bigger than your ship. When I'm through with you, I'm going to use the mast as a toothpick and wipe my ass with the sails. Now excuse me, I have to go take a crap. Time for you to die. Die! Ah! Can't that bastard switch to low beam? As you know, this ship isn't equipped to fight, so it's time for those emergency attack procedures we've all practiced. Bend over and kiss your asses goodbye. Get off of me! Neat! Fighters, Mamoru! More than I can count! That's because you only have a fourth grade education. Just stay out of my way. Roger! They've ruptured the Black Pepper Bay. The Black Pepper Supply is rapidly being depleted. The Red Pepper Supply is still secure. Fighter Control Unit!
What the hell are you doing? I'm hooking up the stereo. It's about damn time somebody got around to doing it. Now we can have some music before we die. What? Here they come! They're gonna ram us! Whoa! Whoa! What shot them down? We don't have any weapons. I accidentally made one while I was trying to hook up the stereo. Now get us the hell out of here while I hold them off. Engine room, we've got to leave now. We can't, Mamoru. The accelerator's been damaged. Then fix it. Akira, we can't move. In that case, Joe and I will go out there. Scatter Strike Battle Unit. 995 plus shipping and handling. Let's go, yo! Man, let's go kick some alien ass! Yo, Hayashi, have you wrecked your stereo the way I told you to? We're working on it. Just as soon as I finish my waffles. These are gonna be great waffles. I'm hungry! Thanks to Akira, we'll be able to shoot back at these alien bastards. Captain, it's open. Now let's teach those kids a lesson. Dang, the mutiny's over already? Isn't the accelerator fixed yet? We've got a fire on B-Deck. Priority action. Someone call the fire department. Get it under control. You fool. Captain. So you're big enough to seize the ship, but you ain't big enough to run it right. They did their best, Kuromoto. If you say so, sir. The electro rigging facility is hit. We've got no control of that electro power. The hell you ain't. Get the men up there. We'll control it manually like they did at sea. Ishige, cover us. Okay, Grandma. I mean, Bolson. Damn it! There's a bunch right in front of us, Captain. That should put them in the line of fire of the electromagnetic scraper if we can make the dang thing work. We can do it if I remove my game cards. Do it. Okay. Hey, wait a second. What the hell are you doing playing video games on that thing, you little bastard? Back in my day, we didn't pull this brand of bullshit. Are you done yet? Hold on. Careful how high you set the scraper or we'll all explode. All my games are gone. Deploy scraper and let's make it count. All right. Man, save some for us! These things move so mechanically. I think these things are remote controlled. Find the controller. Alright, Minami, hack into their command system. Whatever. I liked that mutiny, but this crew still really sucks. Yep, you're right. The ships are computer controlled. One of the ships has a microwave transmitter out there. Hell, oh, there's a microwave out there? Let's go make some popcorn. Akira, there's a command ship out there. 
Look for a ship that's bigger than the rest. I found it, but I doubt any of these makeshift lasers will cut it unless there's a weak point. Okay, we're looking for one. I can't really figure this out, but judging from my experiences playing video games, the weak spot is the big red thing on top. Okay, I guess. Okay, let's see. What have we got here? Flashing lights? A joystick? Fire! Take that, you bastard! No! Akashi, Spencer, Dawson. Get inside. Watch out. Come on, hurry. God damn shit. Bolson, are you all right? Bolson, Bolson. Yeah. Yeah. What's all this crap for? Well, I don't see what would be the harm of switching these things here. You need not keep your distance. Oh, Chief! 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 Oh my god! Chief! The engine's repaired, but the Chief is dead. Captain, the engine works now. Good. Make sure nothing's broke. Get all the fighters back in here. Wait, don't leave without us. Damn, these fools is trying to leave without us. That can't be good for the sails. Ten seconds to ignition. Standing by. The accelerators are going. Five, forty-two, fifty-three, five. 9632 contact We're getting away from a Mamaru. We're getting clean away. Yeah, but where are we going? Who cares? It's got to be better than that place. You guys, I don't want to alarm anyone, but I don't think that we should be flying into this place. You idiots! Where the hell are you flying this thing? I didn't tell you to do this!